Okay, hello everyone, oh, welcome back. I hope you have a nice weekend. So today we will move to the crash recovery section. This is also the last section of the database course. According to the schedule, we only have two weeks left. And besides this week, we will still have one more week. And this week we have uh, the Thanksgiving break. So the classes we have will be only four classes. My plan is to, we can move to the crash recovery in today's class. And we can also finish the crash recovery uh, by the next uh, Wednesday. And at the next Friday, we will have the final review. We will provide some instruction about the final for you. And for the crash recovery, it is also a very important topic for the database systems. We will cover many of the detailed uh, technology that we can use to handle the crash recovery uh, during the system running time. Uh, so we also have a reminder for you, uh, by the next Friday, we will have this uh, assignment 4 to be due, as well as stage 4 of the project, I mean the report together with the demos, to be due by next Friday. I think the project here has sent you an email about instruction on how to evaluate your final project. You should provide a video of your demo. You can upload the video to YouTube and also provide a link in the report so the TA can see your videos and for the grading. And if you have any questions for the report contents as well as the demo evaluations, you may contact the project TA for more information. So the report will also be due by the next Friday. Remember that, right? I say you will be very busy in the coming weeks because you may have so many different data lines. So please schedule your time well so you can finish all the data lines before the due time. Also, after the project, we will have one final. And we will have the final kernel schedule on Monday during the 10 to 12 uh, in the morning. And we will also do the final in the similar to the midterm, we will do the take home. And I can provide you with 24 hours to finish the final. And the, the celebration should be due by the midnight on Monday. And we can provide you with more information for the final review uh, in the lectures. Okay, so this is about the plan for this week and the coming week. So please do this homework as well as the project uh, as only as possible. Don't rush at the very end. You will be very busy, I think, in this uh, in these two weeks. Okay, let's come back to the slide of the crash recovery, the last section. So welcome to the crash recovery, the last section of database systems. This is also a very important section. And before we start the materials, I'd like to provide you with the motivation so why we have to study this. So you know, database system is like a software running on some computers, right? So if we eat a system running on computer, in other words, this system may crash. This crash can be due to many different reasons. It can be either due to the hardware crashes, or the system crashes, or operating system crashes, or some other crash reasons. So if it is running on computer, it may be not reliable for some cases, right? This is not reliable, and I don't mean I mean the transistor can down the work, because in recent years, according to the scientific report, the probability for the transistors to make a mistake is even lower than the DNA to make a mistake in the duplications. In other words, for the very low level, these transistors it's very hard to make a mistake. However, the system may still crash may due to some other reasons, right? For example, if the computer is too hot, some of the hardware in the system may don't work anymore. Or the system can don't work because the operating system has some flaws or some mistakes in the program. So many reasons may cause the system to crash. Once the system crashes, it will be very risky and dangerous for our data stored in our database systems. We cannot accept the system crashes for database system. We need to ensure the security of our data in the system. Therefore, we have to uh, cover this section on how to handle the database system crashes. We will cover different techniques and the tools to process different kinds of crashes. And we also introduce easy to redo or undo to help us to maintain the consistent state of our database system. Okay, so this is the motivation why we have to start this section. It can guarantee the security of our data storing database systems.